As the sun sets here in a watch Gulu district, the sound of speeding cars shatter the tranquility in this backwater. This is one of the contested birthplaces of Dominic Ongwen, who recently surrendered to the Seleka rebels in the Central African Republic. One of the most profiled LRS soldiers, Ongwen's story evokes both empathy and hate. Empathy amongst those who claim to be close family members whose recollection of Ongwen is that of a primary school going child and hate amongst families who lost their loved ones during the LRA conflict. Yet even the history chronicled by scholars and researchers on Ongwen are contradictions. Even after his surrender, controversy continues to swirl over the origin of Dominic Ongwen. A family in a watch claims close ties to Dominic Ongwen. Yet even here in Lamogi, they claim that Dominic Ongwen is their own son. Now where does the truth lie? In 2007, a DNA test was carried out on one of the family members here. However, the results were never returned. This is Alexis Ochai Owea who claims to be Ongwen's mother. She says her son was abducted on his way to school near Gulu town. He studied there for only one, what, one week. Hmm? The next week, this rebel entered there and they, he abducted, there they abducted him. Then the next day they abducted what? S uh, Sacred Heart Girls School. Her wishes to see him before she dies. She implores the president to pardon Ongwen. Forgive this young son of mine. This good. Yeah. Can give what pardon to him. May I say like this? This good. If he can do, may give message. I mean, message to him. Is good. On the day we visited the humble hamlet of Awach in Paibona, Owea's family members converged here. Many of them corroborated her story, revealing in detail how Ongwen was abducted by LRA bands. And I'm also appealing to the government to give him amnesty. Because he don't go to the bus himself, and by that time, according to the right of children now, he is under age. But in the faraway Lamogi sub-county, another family claims Ongwen is their son. The account of Ongwen's abduction sharply contrasts the narrative from the other family. According to Magdalene Okot, who claims to be a stepmother of Ongwen, the former senior brigade commander's parents were killed on the day he was abducted. It's in this home where some of Ongwen's kids who were born in the jungles of DRC and the Central African Republic were returned. As Ongwen begins a journey into the uncharted territory at the International Criminal Court, the Hague-based institution will begin to build a cogent case against him. Yet with such glaring flaws about his history, the court faces a tall order to convict Ongwen, who is perceived as a victim rather than a perpetrator of war crimes. Emmanuel Mutaizewa, NTV Tonight.